After winning the Bundesliga last year, we've made a good start to the season this time around. Can we keep up the good form today? Let's find out. Welcome back then guys, here today for the Red Dell Revival episode 73 of our Road to Glory series here with Kai Stoughton FM21 and as I've just said in that intro, we've made a decent start to the season so far of course we had last episode the German Super Cup final, we've already had our first game in the German Cup itself and we played three league games and so far so good if you ask me, we've made a pretty good start to life in my opinion. Of course guys, before we get going in today's video though, if you did miss that German Super Cup match and of course our transfer roundup from last episode, there'll be a link right above me so you can see exactly how we did get on in that game and of course everyone who did join the squad and who left as well. And of course guys, if you do enjoy today's video, do make sure to chuck a like down onto it and if you want to keep up with any more of my content, such as the Red Dead Revival, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and to ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. Now then, though, we're going to get straight into today's video. We're we'll only be playing the one game. I did mention last time out we may be looking to play Hoffenheim and possibly the Champions League game that we get drawn up against. We've had our group stage draw and so on. But because of the fact there's a couple of transfers that have occurred since last time out, we've played a few results. I want to run through our Champions League group stage and everything along those lines. We'll just play the one game with Hoffenheim and we'll be going from there. First of all though, in terms of the transfers, I'll run through that with you first of all. I'm pretty happy with the business that we did. I went through the vast majority of them with you in last episode. Since we made one more signing and three more players have left the club on a permanent deal. One of them I did mention was possibly going to be occurring and that was Hakim Ganesh, our like backup left back. He has now left. We signed him, I think it was about two and a half million pounds about a season ago. Indeed it was from Stadwell Ames. And you can see there, he's gone to Atalanta over in Italy for 4.5 million. It could rise, I believe, up to 4.9. But I think the fact we pretty much doubled our money on him and he was okay, he wasn't great. He did the job we needed to and we've improved on him this year with the recruitment of Marco Sala now in at left back. So Ganesh has now gone absolutely fine with that bit of business. We then had two players go out towards the end of the transfer deadline. Very little else really occurred for us because of the fact that I kind of was rejecting a lot of bids. We had another bid for Hikmet, but I said no to it. It was less than the initial bid we got. We got one of like £40 million from a Chinese club. Hikmet said no to that. We got another bid from, I think it was from Lazio for about £30 million. And again, I said no because it was less than what I wanted. And also a couple of bids came in for some of our centre-backs, but I rejected those all because I didn't want to sell any of them. So in terms of one of the other sales, a youngster, Imeri, he went to Union Berlin for 100k, could rise to 215. But the other one, kind of the main one really, Julian Draxler, was a bit of a failure really. I would say, generally speaking, most of the players we've signed in this safe have been very good. They've all kind of improved the team somewhat. I mean, value for money. Julian never was that. We signed him for £5 million. Pounds. He played six games. He was awful in every single appearance he made for the team. And he's gone down to the second Bundesliga, De Gloyte third, for 3.7. It can rise to 4.5. So we'll basically make most of our money back. But it is not a good deal whatsoever. I did not like Julian. He did not offer us anything. I'm glad that he is gone. But because of those sales, he made £70 million for this season. And considering the fact no big players really have left the squad, I think that's a very decent amount of intake. The only other player we brought in was a young Romanian midfielder from CFR Cluj, over, of course, in Romania. We paid basically a million pounds. This was his compensation fee. He is 18 years of age. And you can see on the screen, he is very, very good at only 18. This boy is going to be very, very special. He's not going to go straight into the first team. Not yet, but I'm going to try and play him in a couple of games here and there. Try and get him in like the cup games, the Champions League group stage games, maybe matches like that. He's a very decent player, either an advanced playmaker on attack or a Mazala on attack. He can do both those roles really well. He has fantastic flair, fantastic decisions, really good technicals and physicals. Very much looking forward to seeing how he does get on for us. I think there is also about another million pounds in possible bonuses if he plays games and so on. I say it was a compensation fee, so I didn't really have any control over that. But I'm really happy with Coste coming in, hoping he can do a good job for us. That is all of our transfers though, done and dust. Of course, if you want to have a look over the rest of them, you can see them on the screen, but if you want some more detail, of course, go back and watch 
last episode. In terms of how we've gotten on since last episode, in terms of the matches, it's been going pretty well. Of course, we won in the Leipzig game up against them in the Super Cup, won that 2 0, really good performance. We had a friendly up against Barcelona, you can ignore this. It was ridiculous, it was 4 4. I didn't actually manage in this game, I let the assistant do it. It was bonkers, but not a bad little showing up against Barcelona. We then took on a non league side in the German Cup first round. I think Karl Marienborn, I think is how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. And it was 4 1. It was 4 0 inside 20 minutes, and the players just then went to sleep. They did nothing for the rest of the game. We also did concede a goal somehow in like the 70th minute. It was a deflected goal from like 30 yards. It didn't really matter. I was not fast. It was a bit annoying that we lost the clean sheet on Bern Leno's debut because, of course, I was playing all the rotation players. But considering the fact not a single first teamer was in the squad in this match, I was pretty happy with that result. After that, we then kicked off the league season with a 2-1 win over Bayer Leverkusen away from home. We were 2-0 up into the 96th minute. We then went down to 10 men due to an injury and then Leverkusen scored through Andre Silva. So I think that goal was it kind of made the result a little bit better for Leverkusen than what it really was. We dominated it. Looked fantastic. Goals from Lawrence and Tagsef. And then we took on Bayern Munich at home. And we beat them 3-1. A brace from Bobby Firmino, who before that had never scored in the league for us. He only scored in Cup and Champions League games. He scored in the league at long last. A goal from the open play and then a penalty. The goal from Jamie Lawrence, of course, on loan from Bayern Munich. And we beat them 3-1. So at this point, I thought, wow, we could be looking to retain our title. And then we took on Frankfurt away and we got absolutely battered. 3-1. We deserved to lose this. We were awful. It was 3-1 inside the first half. We had a couple of chances in the second half. Looked a little better. I changed up how we were playing, but it wasn't enough, and it was a very disappointing game. But in terms of the Bundesliga, it's going pretty well. We sit seventh at the moment, but a point behind every other team above us. So if we win our game today up against Hoffenheim, we will could probably be up into the top four spots which will be good for us. That, of course, is our only game today, is the Hoffenheim match. Hoffenheim sit fourth, so it is an important match. The other thing I will just mention, our Champions League draw has been made. You can see it there on the screen. It's Leon, Porto and Red Star, Belgrade. If you ask me, we're probably the favourites. We were, of course, top seed because we won the Bundesliga. I'd say it's probably between ourselves and Leon to get top spot and then probably Porto and Leon fighting out for second but we'll have to wait and see i want to obviously qualify for the knockout stages and see how far we can progress in that tournament but that's sort of our roundup done and dusted in terms of the hoffenheim game in the bundesliga this is how we're lining up for it it's misic in net lawrence and bielik at the back casanova in the right back luzio at dm franco at left back Amiri Tagsev and Hikmet in the midfield. Unfortunately, Fermik's got a slight knock. He's just coming back from, so he's not fully fit. You can see he's got high injury sensibility there on the screen. And it's then Pellegri and Chimpitaz starting up front. I love the fact our midfield has all of these little links between themselves because they've all got really good chemistry with each other. I think it's chemistry. Of course, that's probably more of a FIFA term, but I've always called it chemistry in FM. So that is a nice thing to see on the screen. That's how we're lining up. Let's get into this game. Let's see how we do. Hopefully we can get another win, get bounced back after that recent defeat. We're at home. There's no excuse for us not to be winning games at home. Last year, we had the best home form in the Bundesliga. We want to make sure we have that once again this season. Hoffenheim, a very decent side. Of course, they no longer have Bern Leno in net because we pinched him from the Nelgott Klassen at the back. I'm going to go point the finger and say we're favourites for a reason. Some of the lads agreed, some of them not so much. I the rest might have faith in them. And everyone but Casanova, the new right back, agreed with me. So that's pretty good stuff. You can see there, four wins in our last five games. If we don't win today, it will be two games without a win. So let's hope that does not happen. But against Hoffenheim, they're a decent side, but they're not amazing. They're not as good as they were a couple of years ago. Again, they lost a few of their better players. So I'm hopeful we can have a good result up against them. Let's get the game kicked off. Let's see how we do. Come on, boys. Let's bounce back. We need to see more from us after that disappointing match against Frankfurt. That was a derby game as well, by the way. So the board weren't happy that we got smashed. But unfortunately, just the way it unfolded really. Hang on. Hit there. Early chance. Straight at the Hoffenheim keeper. Not a good enough effort from him there from the young Turkish midfielder. 
We've now got another highlight, Hoffenheim with a throw in. It has been cleared, but Hoffenheim keeping hold of the ball. Or oh, Hickmet's done well to get the ball back. It's nice seeing Hickmet back in the team. He was out of the squad for a large period of time last season because he got a bad injury towards the end of it. So it's nice seeing him back available, back fit. He's playing pretty well so far to kick the season off, which is always nice. He kind of isn't as good as I was always hoping to be, though. Hang on, Pellegri here. Can he get the ball into Chimpitaz? Come on, he plays it across. Chimpitaz hits it straight at Klassen in there. It should have been a goal, really. Not good enough from our young Peruvian there. He hasn't scored yet so far this season, but it's a bit like last year. He took a while to get going, and then once he did, he could not be stopped. So hopefully he can score a little bit earlier than he did last season and get that goal tally a bit higher. I think he got 19 in the end in the Bundesliga. I think it was 25 in all competitions. I think I can't quite remember. But as I was saying about Hickmet, I'm hoping to see a bit more from him this season. He had an okay year last year, if you exclude the injury, so... Hopefully he can bounce back from it. We've got a highlight here. Dangerous corner. Tag Seth on it. Probably going to go to Jamie Lawrence. He does, but Pellegri hits it. How did that not go over the line? It like smashed the bar and it was ricocheting everywhere. And I have no idea how it didn't go into the back. And there was so much power from that Pellegri effort. But sadly, we are still not in the lead. We're dominating the game so far. Hoffenheim have not had a single chance yet in this game. We are absolutely peppering them, but nothing to show for it so far. A little bit disappointing really considering how well we've played in this game. Still though, not bad at all. Happy with what we've been seeing. We're going to point the finger and say we've been the better team here. Just keep doing what you're doing. Most lads do agree. I say to us might have faith in them or have the ability to make a difference or whatever it is. I can't remember what it actually is in FM but we've said it there anyway. They all look really motivated which is good. There's a highlight to kick the half off it which is very good news indeed. Casanova on it. Plays it up. Lovely ball. Chimpataz surely. He's not missing that one on his strong left foot. He's finally got his first goal. I said I wanted the goal earlier than he got last year. He didn't get it till like November. He's got it in September now, which is good. Very good stuff indeed. Maybe he's going to be a bit Harry Kane-esque because Harry Kane always has this thing where he can never score goals in August in the Premier League. So now Chimpatanz has scored in September. Hopefully he can make it August next year. But just hopefully he just keeps scoring and build on the good season he had last year. It would be really good if we can keep doing it. He apparently isn't very consistent, which I guess is probably true from some of the games we do see from him. He has that report trait saying he's inconsistent. I've been trying to train it out of him, but it's really tough to get that out of players. But even so, the fact he's inconsistent is still as good as he is. Imagine how good he could be if he does improve that. He'd be ridiculous. We're going to make some substitutions though. Hickmet's looking a little bit on the tired side. We're going to get Cosme on for him and also we're going to get Fermek on get both of them you can see Cosme has now learned to play a little bit deep he's now three star in that role so that is good news for us made that double change nothing too drastic it's literally just personnel changes and at long last Hoffenheim have had a chance but not much else really is going on but as I'm saying this there's a bloody highlight and Hoffenheim is starting with it Oh, goodness me. We just know, as I just said that, they're going to go and score, aren't they? Because that's always the way of FM. They listen to you. SI is listening, everything you're saying. And then they go and say, oh, you think we're not going to concede? Well, screw you. You're going to go concede now. Yedvai puts the ball in. Lawrence heads it clear. Hang on, tries to counter maybe. Cosme, fresh on the pitch. Lovely ball up to Chimpataz. Come on, Fernando. What are you going to do with it here? He's on this left flank. Pellegri is kind of in the middle. Not really. Pellegri on it now. Plays it across to Cosme. Oh, he's got his first goal. The young 18 year old Brazilian gets his first goal for Kaisal and Pellegri lovely little play there to find him I thought he'd be greedy and go for goal himself but he didn't he squared the ball to the young Brazilian he gets his first goal of the season his first goal for the club since arriving in Germany wonderful stuff there really good bit of football we're gonna make our final substitution now I'm gonna get Forsby on for Amiri basically just change up our whole midfield I have to try and keep them as fit as possible because they play a lot of games and do a lot of running in our team it looks like we might just be whizzing down the time as I'm saying this is a highlight 86 minute if Hoffenheim score now it's gonna be a nervy end to the game Casanova here it's a poor attempted pass there really bad from him and that's an awful clearance from Hoffenheim a bad pass from us a bad pass from them it's one for one another bad pass from us okay 2-1 now <laughs> Dear me, what are we doing? Missit should have that. Indeed, he does. Over to Jamie Lawrence. Nice and calm there from our young keeper. Don't mess this up. And that, not quite as calm, but it's okay. It does win the header. Frank on it now. Lovely ball. Chimpitans to make it free, maybe. What's he going to do? He's way too tight of an angle. He's never scoring. And indeed, he doesn't. I mean, we had a cautious, I think. We go slightly time wasting, lower tempo, be more disciplined. I'm happy just to see this game out now. A 2-0 win is fantastic. We haven't had a clean sheet yet all season, excluding the German Super Cup. So if we can get it here, looks like we are going to, indeed, 
we have a really damn good result that 2 0 from us only three shots from hoffenheim all game only one on target really good defensively from us really solid i really like the way our defense is looking now i think we've got a much stronger defense than we've had in previous seasons outstretched arms well done good win they all agree wonderful stuff everyone's looking over the moon about it why would they not be and in the table we now go back up into top spot of the Bundesliga, which is fantastic stuff. Of course, other teams do have to play in the rounder, so we could be losing that position. We may have to wait and see, but I'd say that's pretty good stuff from us. All ends up really chuffed with that result. Of course, though, guys, let's have a look at the schedule, see what we're looking for for next time around. Of course, as we're a few seasons in now, we've already won the Bundesliga. I'm going to make it a little bit quicker in terms of progressing through our matches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the next four games off camera. So Leon, Mockenglad, Hertha, and then we're going to come back for Stuttgart. So that's actually three games. I just can't count. But we're going to come back at the end of the month for Stuttgart, which is a big old game. Stuttgart, of course, went challenged us all the way last season. The Bundesliga they sit second already, so that's going to be a big match for us. And also we're going to take on Red Star Belgrade in the Champions League, or Savannah Vesda, or how you pronounce it. I'll probably butch that. But that's who we'll be taking on in the next episode, a Bundesliga and Champions League double header. Overall, though, guys, that brings this video today to a close. And for once, a very calm and comfortable performance from the boys. Wonderful stuff. So far this season is looking pretty decent overall. We've been pretty good in the away games we played. We've looked really good when we've been playing at home, which is fantastic. And if we keep playing like this, who knows? Maybe another Bundesliga will be on the cards. Maybe a German Cup. Maybe a Champions League. I highly doubt that last one. Yeah, I still don't think we're anywhere near strong enough to be challenging for major European honours. But you never know. The fact we won the Bundesliga last year was a shock. Maybe we can shock the entirety of European football and win that competition. But we'll have to wait and see. Of course you will do. Guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have done, make sure to chuck a like down onto it. And of course, guys, well, if you do want to keep up with any more of my content, such as the Red Dead Revival, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and to ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you again next time.